Hi, and welcome to the AI Challenge module of Design Forward. Um, we're happy to have you here. Uh, for those of you who are not familiar with it, Design Forward is a faculty, faculty development program that we run here um, at the CoLab at Plymouth State University. Um, we welcome you to explore this website further if you'd like to learn more about the Design Forward program. But this module specifically, um, the AI Challenge, is designed to um, provide faculty with the opportunity to develop more capacity around generative, generative AI um, in the classroom. Um, we've really tried to thread the needle here um, in terms of offering enough information so that um, it feels like you are learning things and seeing new things and hearing new things, but at the same time, not overwhelming you. Because as we all know, um, especially in the last year or so, there has been so much said and thought and um, written about generative AI and even generative AI in education um, that it's been quite a job to curate all of that. So hopefully we've, we've managed to achieve our goal. Um, in terms of the module itself, I want to just give you a little bit of information. It is um, uses sort of the same components that all of our DF modules use, although it's organized a little bit differently. But essentially, there are four topics. Um, those topics are fundamentals of generative AI, teaching with Gen I, teaching against Gen I, and teaching about Gen I. And on each topic page, you will then find the other components. So at the top, um, in the topic introduction, you'll find um, uh, a short video from me, which I encourage you to watch, sort of explaining the topic and why we think it's important, um, as well as a series of slides that are meant to kind of get everybody thinking. Uh, the slides draw a lot from the next component, which are the resources. And these are really readings, online readings from across the internet that we've um, put together that we think hopefully, um, again, kind of um, thread that needle of giving you enough information, but not overwhelming you. Um, and beyond that, we get into the questions for the module. There are always two questions, or for the topic, there are always two questions per topic. We encourage you and invite you to jump into the conversation there. Um, and finally, two activities. And the activities in Design Forward are meant to give you an opportunity, opportunity to practice what you're learning and maybe apply it uh, a little bit more specifically to your own context, your own pedagogy. Um, the modules are presented sort of linearly and you're welcome to progress through them that way, but it's not a requirement. So if they, and they certainly overlap as you will see. Um, if there's one that really just jumps out at you, feel free to start there. On the other hand, if you're somebody who really likes um, a path, um, start with fundamentals and move on to teaching um, with, against, and about Gen, I, Gen AI. Um, beyond that, the only other thing that I kind of want to mention here, well, two things. Um, if you are a previous Design Forward participant, you may be wondering, how does this work um, compared to my um, previous module experiences? Um, it's a little bit different in that because this is a self-paced um, sort of free-flowing module. Um, accounts aren't required. You don't need to log in to um, move through the, the, the AI challenge. It also is not linked for those of you who've done DF before to your portfolios. So just a note for our previous DF um, participants. And then the last thing I want to mention is that in addition to the website that houses this module, we've built sort of an ancillary called um, the AI Challenge Collection, which is linked right down below on the homepage of the module. I encourage you to explore it. What we've done here is sort of collect from all over the internet, um, all over the web, ideas from other people. These are not um, all our ideas um, from other people about what it means to use AI to teach. So there are assignment ideas, activity ideas, assessment ideas. Um, we've tried to organize them a little bit so that you can have an easier time maybe finding things you might be interested in. Um, and we'll be continually growing that collection. And while we're launching it with the module, we know that we've got more to add to it. So we encourage you to keep checking back um, and seeing what's new. Other than that, please feel free to reach out to us at the CoLab if you have any um, questions. Our website is colab.plymouthcreate.org. Um, and you can contact us through that site. And, other, and, and beyond that, we will um, hopefully see you around the module. Thank you.